yo what is going on guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to create this new title animation or text animation inside of it film express so let's get started i'm going to create a new composite chart and let's call this main you can call it whatever you want the duration i'm going to go with five seconds and 1920 by 1080 click on ok let's create our background create a new plane layer and call it pg for background i'm going to give it this hex color of 00017 click on ok and then i'm going to create a new text layer and type in our text let's type in some random word the font that i'm using is montserrat you can use any font that you want and i'll change the font style as well to extra bold and the font size is 233 let's go to the layout and align this in the center click on these two icons that are in the middle to align your text in the center right now we are going to create our animation for that i'm going to use this background layer drag it in i'm renaming this to matte and just to differentiate from the background i'm going to apply a fill color on this real quick like so and this matte layer will be under our text right over here now what we want to do is let's um, go to our text and create our animation there we'll transform and i'm going to create a simple animation so i'm going to go to somewhere around one second create a keyframe on position go back to the very first frame and just bring the position so that it is completely hidden under our mat layer all right something like that i can select these two keyframes going to keyframes to manual bezier go to value graph hold shift key and just drag your handle to the left and just play your animation this is how it is going to look if i turn off the mat layer we'll have a nice animation now I want to hide my text which is under the mat layer and I want to reveal the part that is not hidden by the mat layer and to do that to hide or unhide the parts we are going to use an effect called set mat apply it on to the layer that you want to hide or unhide which in this case is the text I'm going to set the source layer to mat and change the blend to subtract and you can turn off the matte layer we don't want that to be visible in our animation and now you can see that our text is hidden when it is inside or behind the matte layer and gets revealed when it is not behind the matte layer so that is the use of set matte effect next thing we do is we're going to select these two layers the matte and the text hit command m on your keyboard to create a comp let's call this text click on ok and go back to your main comp make sure that this text comp is 3d click on yes to add a camera let's create a new point layer i'm going to rename this to cam control and we can use this point layer to control the animation so i'm going to make this 3d make sure you parent your camera to the cam control now after this animation ends i'm going to create a camera movement so i'm going to create keyframe on let's do orientation rotation x and y let's go to two second and change the direction of the camera so let me just i can just you know make this something like negative 50 and rotate it something like that let's turn off the floor plane we don't want that to be visible for now and let's make it flatter let's flatten it on the x axis and you can also play around with the orientation as well all right so you can select these keyframes Can the keyframes to manual bezier and just you know create that same graph so if we play this animation this is how it is going to look now we need to create that layered effect look on our text and to do that we will just duplicate our text comp in the media panel we have the text comp it control d or command d you can rename this to text 2 double click on it and um, instead of a fill i want an outline so just select your text layer and in the text panel you will have the color over here click on that and make sure the opacity is all the way down to zero and click on ok then you can click on the outline to add an outline and i'm going to set the color to white i can obviously change it to any color that you want click on ok and you can also control the amount of stroke that you want for example you can give it a stroke of 10 but i'm going to leave it to 4. 
right so uh, you can add multiple strokes as well like if you want to add one more outline you can do that simply click on the button and it will add another outline let's undo that uh, i'm gonna go back to my main comp and just bring in this text too like so make sure it is 3d as well 3d plane now the text to comp will have the same animation so I'm, what i'm going to do is go to the two second mark on our timeline and just simply change the position of our text to layer and we can also apply some effects such as blur to give it kind of a depth of field effect i'm going to set this to one and i'm going to duplicate it command d let's bring it down and uh, you can also rename it let's just leave it as it is and just simply change its position bring it down like that and uh, you can also change the opacity on this so maybe let's go with 70 percent let's duplicate it bring it down and change the opacity to something like maybe 40 and just change its position like so duplicate it one more time bring it down and change its opacity something like 10 percent and change its position in on the z axis all right so there we have our effect there we have our layered kind of effect on our text now what we can do is on the cam control layer let's go to the very end and just simply change the rotation x and um, change the rotation y and just you know rotate it something like that and maybe even the i guess we can change the rotation x as well so this is how it is going to look all right so we can you know play with the different settings over here you have a nice layered text effect look now the only problem with this is if you play the animation at the beginning you can see we have these duplicate copies visible at the beginning so what we can do is select uh, these layers the next two layers and make sure it starts at this frame over here All right so i will start revealing all the text will appear at this frame so we are done with this title effect you can also stylize this further by adding glow to this so let's type in glow and we can add maybe the normal glow effect on our the main text so uh, we have a glow over here and you can you know control the amount of glow the radius so you can you know play around with different settings have a nice uh, design going on and you can you know apply the glow to other layers as well if you want Let's apply it on this layer and maybe we can turn it off on the main layer so let's see how that looks i think it looks pretty clean that is it for this video guys i hope this video is helpful if this video is helpful make sure you leave a like and also subscribe to the channel thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one